Hi, my name is John Coder, and I'm a math consultant with Faith Christian Academy in Arvada, Colorado. We're going to determine how to express an interval in terms of inequalities. On the board behind me, I have four inequalities that are graphed, and we're going to convert these and rewrite them as intervals and inequalities. Notice in each of the four different graphs, I have some circles that are filled in and some circles that are closed. For those circles that are open, that means that point is not included in the inequality. If the point is filled in, it is part of the inequality. The first inequality shows all points in between and including negative 2 and 3. In interval notation, we're going to use a square bracket to show that we include the endpoints. The second example, we do not include the endpoints. And notice this time the points are going in opposite directions. Since the point is going from negative 2 and the graph continues all the way to the left, it's going toward negative infinity. But we cannot ever include negative infinity. And notice I had a parenthesis for negative 2 because negative 2 is not included. And the parenthesis shows that it's not included. We also have another part over here which is separate. So we're going to use the U standing for union and include 3 comma positive infinity because it's not including 3 and it's going continuously to the right direction. For the third example, this time we have a square bracket because negative 2 is included. So we'll have negative infinity to negative 2 with a square bracket, union positive 3 to positive infinity. Notice again, it's an open circle, so we're going to have a parenthesis representing next to the 3. And the last example is similar to our first example, except the negative 2 is not included. We'll use that, use a parenthesis instead of the squ square bracket. Now, we're going to finish up by converting each of these intervals into inequalities. The first one is all values between and including negative 2 and 3. The second example is going to be all values that are less than negative 2 and all values greater than 3. The third example would be all values x less than or equal to negative 2 and x is greater than 3. And our last example would be negative 2 is less than x, which is less than or equal to positive 3. My name is John Coder. I'm a math consultant with Faith Christian Academy, and we just determined how to express an interval in terms of inequalities. Thanks for watching.